this year uh, we have a really smart group of, of players. Uh, I think they play well together. They're very competitive in a five-on-five -five situation. I think we're trying to give them a little bit of freedom within structure is kind of how we're going to try to play this year and um, try to learn uh, how to play with one another and play off of one another. This will be my third uh, time back at USF. I was uh, able to be an assistant uh, right out of college uh, for Bill and Mary Nutful and then came back again to assist Mary um, when she was the head coach. So this third time I think I have a, you know, obviously more experience. I think I appreciate the experience of being able to be a head coach in the WCC and I think it's just really exciting to be able to have an opportunity to coach this team and to hopefully lead them to uh, even more success. I'm really excited about working with all of our new coaches. Janelle Jones uh, is one of my assistants. She and I worked together last year at Cal State Dominguez Hills. She's been a head coach in, in the CCAA for a number of years. She won a national championship at Oklahoma City University. She's just got a ton of head coaching experience complements me very well, has a different kind of personality, a little different style um, in how she communicates and how she relates. We think a little bit differently, but we really, uh, we had a lot of fun together last year. Um, so I'm really excited she's on board. And then we're really fortunate to get Linda Lappy, who is a former head coach at Pac-12 school, University of Colorado, had really good Colorado teams, has very strong recruiting ties, very well respected within the profession for just her work ethic and, and how she treats people and how she communicates and just, you know, the kind of floor leader and person that she is. So two really, really experienced coaches on staff who really care about developing not just basketball players, but with developing the whole student. And then I have uh, a former player and grad assistant, Natasha Smith, who's been a, she was uh, one of my most enjoyable players to coach, just a tremendously hard worker, a great on-floor presence. The kids will relate to her really well. Well, I think it's a really good group of seniors. You know, it's a strong group in the sense that they know what it takes to be successful because they experienced that last year. In some ways, though, some of the roles we're asking them to play are going to be really new roles because, you know, Z graduated and Taylor graduated, and that was a big chunk of scoring and rebounding. So in some ways, we're, we're asking them to both lead and to take on new responsibilities. Anna uh, from Texas is a really, she's a real uh, highly intelligent guard. Um, she sees the floor very well. She understands how to play basketball. She gets concepts, she gets angles, she understands passing. She's a good floor leader. I think that Nia brings um, strength and athleticism. She's got a fantastic build for a freshman coming in. She, uh, she likes going after rebounds. She's, um, she can play kind of a, a wing or you could move her to a point guard if you needed to. Um, but she's just got a kind of a charisma about her and an energy about her that I think will help her be uh, a pretty dynamic player. Our guard play is dominated by, you know, probably that group of upperclassmen. Um, you know, Rachel out on the wing and Kaylin on the wing. Anna's got some experience at the point guard and wing position. Um, kind of what we're asking them to do is, you know, push the ball up the floor in transition, looking for opportunities to use some, um, you know, screens in the middle of the court to, to free themselves up for either penetration of the basket or kickouts. We're asking them to think when they play, um, but also giving them some freedom uh, to just play basketball and to make some different reads and to, to work with one another. The, really the offenses that we're using really require them to work with one another and read defense. We have some great shooting post players. Uh, you know, Dagny's a fantastic shooter. Jalen can play the post, is a really good shooter. Michaela is a very good shooter for their size, so that helps us stretch out the defense. And again, in the offense that we play, we're trying to spread the floor and get opportunities for our guards to attack the basket and then either finish or kick out. And it's great when you have 6'2", 6'1", 6'2", 6'3", kids that can make three-point shots or make 18-foot shots. You know, Hashima brings energy and rebounding and she's got an intensity to her and a bounce to her step. She'll, you know, I expect her to be crashing offensive boards and really be a very dynamic player in that way. Claudia is a, a thinker. She knows, she understands the game, understands how to 
uh, make good passes and good reads, so I'm anxious to get her out in that mix too. But I think we have a nice group that complements one another really well. To me, your consistency of performance throughout the course of the year is really indicative of the kind of team you are than, than how you're playing you know, for a three-day streak at the end. Now, you have to play really well in the conference tournament in order to get the NCAA tournament, so that's a part of it. But you know, I think being in that top group and you know, winning the regular season championship and, and just having a very consistent record and being a very consistent team every time we come out and play a conference game that we're trying to beat that opponent. And then, setting ourselves up to have a great run in the conference tournament. They feel like they have something to prove, again, because they're, you know, they're two seniors that did graduate. We're really key pieces, and I think they feel like they want to step up and take on new roles and show that they're, um, they're a, a very good team, too.